So I want to talk about schools for a moment. Last week, we released a COVID-19 school manual with information for students, teachers, parents, and schools. The purpose of this manual is to provide recommendations on how to safely operate schools in the fall. Schools and parents are not required to follow any of these recommendations, but it does serve as a blueprint for schools as they make important decisions on how to safely reopen. Ultimately, school districts are determining how and if they will implement these recommendations. And I encourage parents to reach out to their school districts and look at their district's plans as they're making their own personal decisions about their kids returning to school. The State Health Department, Utah's 13 local health districts, and the Utah State Board of Education have received a lot of input since releasing the manual last week. And we've listened to that feedback. Today, we're making some changes to the manual that are still consistent with good public health practice. So with regards to modified quarantine, we are removing the recommendation that students and teachers be allowed to attend school while they're on quarantine. Instead, we recommend that students and teachers follow standard quarantine practices and procedures. This means that any time somebody has close contact with a confirmed case of COVID-19, that means they've been within six feet for 15 minutes or more of a confirmed case, that person should spend their entire 14-day quarantine period at home, not attend school, and not participate in extracurricular activities. Everybody wants to make sure that teachers, parents, and students feel safe and are safe as they return to school. The prevention measures we all take, wearing face masks, practicing physical distancing, staying home when we're ill, and using good hand hygiene will help us open up schools safely and keep them open. Thank you. So the, um, the original um, manual that we put out last week um, followed public health guidance um, with regards to quarantine for employees in essential industries. And so we felt like it was responsible to allow um, students and teachers who were on quarantine but had no symptoms to attend school if they were able to wear a face covering and practice social distancing. You know, we got a lot of feedback from stakeholders that weren't comfortable with that. And so we are willing to adjust and provide a more strict recommendation, which is um, the traditional quarantine where anybody who has come into close contact with a confirmed case does have to stay home for 14 days. Okay, so do you guys feel like there is going to be issues come this fall with schools reopening and students being placed on quarantine? Does, does that appear to be possibly an issue that you guys are concerned about? Yeah, I mean, of course, I mean, everything we're trying to do is balance keeping kids in school safely with um, also preventing the spread of COVID-19. So we'll have to see how this plays out and, and how um, quarantine at home for 14 days impacts the flow of in-person education. Um, and we'll also learn a lot more in terms of transmission of COVID-19 in the school setting and the true risks around that. There's just so much we don't know right now. Um, but again, this is a, an evolving process and, and that manual is certainly a living document. So as we learn more and as we progress through the fall with schools, we will certainly watch it closely and see if we need to, to modify that. 